Is it bad that after the tediousness of editing that video for KP, I'm actually more inspired than ever to actually edit um, my reviews, the MLP comic reviews? morning sunshiners and possibly sunshaders yeah it's actually morning and I actually feel mildly well rested I didn't sleep in too late I'm not too overtired my nose is a bit stuffy that's random um, and uh, I'm ready to uh, start the day not entirely sure if I'm gonna go anywhere um, since I did mention in the before the intro clip that I would like to actually get back to editing my MLP related stuff as well as catching up in the vlogs so I have a ton of editing to do um, if I wasn't doing so much editing I would put in my contacts but when it comes to editing it is better to have my glasses on because sometimes my contacts uh, can't focus on the screen because reasons. I don't know why. Awkward cut. So I wrote the review of the third MLP comic a couple weeks ago before I started um, as an editor for KP. But in KP's videos, she makes a lot of references to outside things just because it's funny. Um, in real life, I commonly do that too, and so that transferred over to the writing of my review. But now, as I'm editing my review, I kind of want to include, like, uh, video clips from TV shows and all that kind of stuff, or web shows or whatever, um, that make the reference that I'm trying to make in the video. I'm just, a uh, Nervous that people watching my video are going to be like, You stole KP's shtick! How dare you! Um, so, hopefully they read the little uh, text things that pop up to commentate on my review. It's the secondary host of my review is um, disembodied text. Um, and uh, the text is going to mention, what are you, stealing KP's editing style? or? KP's stick just to uh, call myself my own uh, little joke um, because I'm not. I wrote the review before I became um, an editor with KP. It's just, uh, I guess we're very similar and like making references. I'd also like to apologize um, because of all the editing I've been doing for the past couple of days and the subject of what is being edited. Uh, my vlogs have temporarily become all MLP all the time. Uh, that'll change, hopefully, when more than just me editing, sorry, when more than just me editing is happening um, during the day. Like if something more exciting happens at school, it'll probably wind up being more school oriented. Yeah, I can't speak, but you get the point. Uh, so. If you're new to my vlogs, you're like, ew, MLP, why am I watching this guy? Um, I don't always talk about MLP. But when I do, it's because I'm editing something for a review. Awkward cut. So, uh, I was doing final revisions. Um, well, hopefully final revisions on that video for KP. Um, and I may have had a minor mental breakdown. So I clicked and dragged a transition over some audio and then suddenly the entire audio glitched and like jumped randomly. And uh, so the whole entire project audio was out of sync and the um, majority of the project's audio was in an area where you couldn't get to it. Like it was out of the bounce of, uh, out of the bounce, now out of the boundaries of the timeline itself, um, and such. And, uh, so I'm like, okay, 
Um, final cut is freaking out. Exit out. And open it back up. It's still the same. Unlike Final Cut Express 4, um, or at least not that I'm aware of, um, I could not go back to a previous uh, save data kind of thing, hoping that would fix it. And uh, so I was literally on the verge of tears, freaking out that I'd have to go through and find every single thing from all of the videos that I included. Um, again, basically almost a week's worth of uh, editing. Um, and then I was like, let me try this. Clicked and dragged the entire audio track until it was out of the weird, it technically shouldn't be there area, and then it all snapped back to normal. But yeah, that was, that was not good. I need to work on uh, my coping um, with uh, possible loss of entire projects. Cause uh, I'm not proud of that mental breakdown that I just had. Well, I should go to bed. I say should like that so often. You should know what my subtext for that is. That means I'm most likely not going to go to bed. Um, but yeah, I guess if I'm going to be an editor professionally, I'm going to have to get used to these days where I just don't do anything. Not good vlog content, but stuff gets done. Trust me. I mean, I did a whole edit of uh, the video for KP, and I'm almost done with uh, my video. Oddly enough, heavily influenced by KP um, and such, with some of the references that I added in many weeks after writing the script. Just uh, jokes that worked, um, I guess. Um, so, uh, yeah. Don't know when that'll be going up. Not sure if I'm just gonna finish off the current arc that I'm reviewing and then do that whole thing where I uh, make all the videos for the arc and then upload them. Um, I don't know, cause there's only, I think, Two more comics in the arc. There's five total in the first arc, I believe. Maybe there's four. I don't know. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'll figure that out. Anyways, even though I'm technically not going to bed, uh, good night, whoever's watching this. See you tomorrow. Well, I won't see you, but you will see me. If you enjoy watching my vlogs, feel free to hit that subscribe button and possibly share it with a friend. There's a vlog on the web featuring Ben Stock that he shoots every day as he walks and talks. If you're Bigfoot in the woods or producers in LA, you should stop all your shit and watch Sunshine Shade. Sunshine Shade. Sunshine Shade. Has nothing to do with Florida, but it's great. If you can't wait, don't get irate. Just stay in your sheet, cause it's sunshine shade. So, uh, I hope it's not a bad thing that the, uh, first video that I have to edit for KP got sent to her after the deadline. I was supposed to get it to her Friday by 11.59 p.m. It was finished and uploaded to the web by around, I don't know, 1. And I just sent the email now and it's almost 5 a.m. <sighs> Crap. Hopefully that is not uh, bad as long as I am. Um, get all the other videos in on time. Also, it's quite possible that the 11.59 um, Friday uh, due date was for the previous um, edit, which I did edit before that time. Um, this is the final edit, which I thought the last one was, but then she sent me some revisions, so... 
maybe the deadline was pushed because of the re revisions also i don't think the video this is a part of is coming out until next week um but yeah we'll, we'll see what happens one week working for kp hopefully it's not my last awkward cut to the end of the video